Here's your WTF Action News for Thursday, January 12th. Lake State Railway Company will be gifting the Harrisville Depot and some surrounding property to the Alcona Historical Society during a public ceremony to be held next Tuesday at 1 p.m. The Historical Society has formed the Harrisville Depot Committee to facilitate the transfer of ownership and initialize steps leading to the depot's preservation. The public is invited to attend next Tuesday's ceremony at the depot. Coffee, hot chocolate, and cookies will be provided by Alcona Coffee Company. The Traverse City Police Department responded to a single vehicle accident Wednesday night at the Oriana Community Co-op. The Traverse City woman who crashed into the business told police her accelerator was stuck. The crash damaged the gas main causing a leak, which was quickly shut off by the Traverse City Fire Department. No injuries were reported and the co-op remained open during the cleanup. 35 classic cars donated to Northwood University by an Isabella County businessman have been auctioned off and are bringing in $2.3 million to the university. The cars were a unique donation by Mike and Diane Morey for the school to use however they wanted. The cars were auctioned off in Florida last week. The most expensive car was a 1967 Shelby GT500 Fastback, which sold for $330,000. A teenage boy is in custody after bringing a loaded pistol to Penn County High School on Tuesday. In the teen's possession, authorities found a loaded 22 caliber handgun with an extra magazine and ammunition. The teen was taken into custody and lodged at a local juvenile detention facility. No injuries were incurred during the incident. The community walking group for everyone will meet this morning at 9 o'clock in the parking lot of the library. For more information, call the library at 724-6796. On this day in 1959, Barry Gordy, who had a hit as a songwriter with Lonely Teardrops, launched the Tamla Record Company with $800 he borrowed from his family. A year later, he changed the label's name to Motown Records. Tom Artolino was born on this day in 1955. Tom was the drummer and occasional vocalist for the New Rhythm and Blues Quintet, or NRBQ. He died from diabetes complications in January of 2012 at the age of 56. Today's 97.9 WTF weather will be rainy and snowy with a chance of drizzle after 4 p.m., otherwise cloudy with a high near 38. Snow showers and freezing drizzle are possible overnight with a low around 25. We have a 30% chance of snow showers and freezing drizzle Friday, gradually becoming sunny with a high near 27 degrees. WTF Action News is presented as a public service of the Alcona Music Project and WXTFLP Harrisville and is made possible by the generous financial support from listeners like you. For more information on how to help support our station, visit 979harrisville.org.